This is an instructional video to guide you through the process of making a full face washable and reusable surgical style mask with a replacement filter pocket. The supplies we'll be using today are a best air filter model number A401-2400. You can find that at Lowe's or, or just order it online from Lowe's. We're gonna be using a one inch fold over elastic for our edging or our binding. Of course, you need fabric. Fat quarters work really great for this project. Pins, thread, pipe cleaners, and of course you'll need scissors and a sewing machine. Okay, we're gonna start with our fat quarter and iron it nice and flat and get all the creases and wrinkles out of it so we have a good surface to work with. Next, I'm going to fold it in half with the design inside and crease it. Next, I'm gonna fold it over to line this edge up here and we're gonna measure 21 centimeters. Now, because the edges aren't perfect on any fabric, unless you've got the raw edge, you're gonna have to cut and uh, make a straight line all the way up here. And then you're also gonna cut here. You wanna measure 21 centimeters by 21 centimeters. Next, I'm gonna cut out my fabric. I didn't pin this because this fabric is pretty stiff anyways. Um, a lot of people have the rollers, like the quilters, they will have the rollers. Those are probably easier to work with. Unfortunately, I don't have one. Now we're just gonna open it up. I'm gonna cut down that line. So that quarter gives us two pieces to work with. This is this is going to be for one mask. Next will measure down about three to three and a half centimeters. I kind of just eyeball it now since I've been sewing these for a couple of days. You're gonna fold that over, make sure you got it nice and straight and press. Flip it over and do it to the other side. All right, now we are going to use a straight stitch, just a straight line stitch, and sew the two edges that we pressed down. Fix your seam at the edge. Now for the 
the other side. Okay, we're gonna use our fold over elastic and I just tied it around um, my head to see what was comfortable and I came up with 33 inches as a good comfortable band and um, it does have some elasticity so um, it will stretch for somebody who has a bigger head or a lot more hair than me. Okay, next we're gonna take our pipe cleaner, fold it in half and twist it. This is going to be your nose piece. One thing you want to make sure to do if you're using a patterned fabric is your nose piece is going to go on the outside. So your fabric with prints on it needs to be the right direction. So if the, the nose piece will be in here. So this will be what other people see on your mask. If I were to put it here, it'd be upside down. Okay, just slip the nose piece into the little pocket you've made. It's gonna shift a little while you're sewing, so you'll need to adjust it off and on. But after you get it in there, kind of push it down towards the bottom then you're gonna take your elastic, find about the middle piece and pinch that over the middle of your fabric. Place a pin or clip, well, I can find a pin that pokes. A pin or clips which I don't have. You just work your way down and get that secured to the fabric. Now there is, this elastic is directional really. That's gonna be your inside edge. The softer part and smooth part is your outside edge. Okay, we're gonna adjust your sewing machine to um, whatever number it may be on yours, but the fourth stitch here is this zigzag stitch, just a regular zigzag. Um, and that's because it's good for stretchy material and it's really gonna hold all of this together because these are machine washable. You want them really durable. And again, because this is stretch fabric, you really kind of have to watch it. It will start turning and twisting. You've got to kind of hold it in place. And just try to keep it right down the middle. Slow it down and make sure all this is lined up correctly. I'm not a seamstress, but if I had those clips that I've seen in other videos, that really would work nicely. Because these pins can be a pain in the butt. Fix the end and cut your edge. Okay, that makes a really nice seam. 
Everything is sewn together. Your ends are nice. And there is the front part of your mask. Okay, for the next step, you wanna make sure that your pipe cleaner is in the center because you are going to be sewing up these edges. So fold it back over. If you need to, go ahead and pin it. You're gonna switch back to that straight stitch and stitch up the sides. Now, one really important piece, you wanna stop right before you get to the edge of this binding. You're gonna stop right there. If you go over it, then when you flip it inside out, you're gonna have problems and it won't look right, it won't lay flat. Okay, now we're gonna flip this inside out and push out your push out your corners real good. They don't have to be perfect. I mean, they're gonna be um, hidden by the bottom band. And we're gonna go back over to the iron. Okay, when working with this um, elastic, I found that the black elastic does not like the high heat and steam, as you can see from my iron. Um, the white one did not do that. So I lower it down um, to about halfway. That way it's not quite as hot. Um, I'm not gonna be really running the iron over it right now. I'm just flattening this piece. I'm just letting you know that um, it can melt uh, when it comes time to actually finish it when we're doing the um, pleating. Okay, now that we've got this nice and flat, we're going to attach our bottom um, binding edging. We're gonna find the middle of it again to the middle. Flip it over, pin it down, and sew it just like we did the top one. Okay, so now that you've got your bottom binding on, we're gonna go back to the ironing board and put in our pleats. Okay, you still wanna make sure that your pipe cleaner is in the center because now we're going to do our pleats and we'll be sewing right here on the edges. So I just start by going up to the line that we sewed earlier. These don't have to be perfect, but we're we're gonna put three pleats in, at least three. If you do tighter pleats, you can put in four. I just eyeball it. Like I said, I'm not a seamstress. I really just started sewing, doing this for a good cause. Now that that's all pressed out, I let it cool off a little bit because <laughs> it's very hot. And then I'm gonna put pins in each pleat just to hold it secure and then take it to the sewing machine. Okay, we're gonna be back at the sewing machine. We're gonna come back to our zigzag line. Now, I like to go over this part right here. Um, a couple of times just to really get it all secure and tight and durable, hopefully. So. Oh, 
Oh, and see there my pipe cleaner had shifted a little bit. I'm glad I felt it because you don't want to sew it go over that. So now we're gonna do the zigzag stitch on the other side to finish up our mask. Okay, so now that our mask is completely sewn, um, we are going to open up the pocket and we're gonna put our filter in here. Now this is a type of filter I found that uh, works well. Um, it's for an AC unit or an air, air purifier and it looks like an accordion. Um, you can make a lot of different uh, pieces to insert into your mask. Just cut a little piece out. David made it easy for us. See, doesn't have to be perfect. And you're gonna put that into your mask. Try to go all the way down into the corners. You may need to trim a little off the edges or fold it, but you wanna get it down in there because you wanna get the most protection you can. Um, the further down it is, kind of the better, the more surface area it's gonna cover, if that makes sense. Because when you get this around your face, see, there it is. You just kind of fix it how you need to. So about this filter. So the N95 filters need to be um, at 0.35 to 10 microns to be N95. This is 0.3 to 10 microns. So I really think that this is a good choice for overall protection, um, just for the average Joe, um, even somebody that might come in contact with the coronavirus, they'll probably be protected. Um, see, it protects against this viruses, bacteria, all that kind of stuff. And now you have a cute little homemade mask during this PPE shortage. Then there's your nose wire and just put it on and tie it up. And be safe out there. Here's the finished product. Um, as you can see, it is tight against here, tight under my chin, tight up around my nose bridge. Um, it feels very good. Uh, I can tell that the filter is tight against my skin, so I feel very safe that, that this is almost as good as an N95 mask. And I hope that whoever's making these at home feel that way too. Thanks and have a great day.